Hey, Dr. Nels here. Welcome to episode six of Coffee with Nels. Uh, I hope you're having a fun and exciting day. I think it's going to be an interesting run through here. We're going to chew on some different knowledge graph visualizations that I worked through um, and see kind of what worked and what didn't. So should be a fun time here today. All right, let's flip over to the desktop view. All right. You may have noticed the audio is a little louder today. Um, I'm still working out different audio settings to figure out exactly the right way to go about recording the audio, but hopefully this is working a little bit better here. This is episode six of Coffee with Nels, and it'll go up here today, fun times. All right, where are we going to spend our time? So we've been working through a whole bunch of the Knowledge Reduce library, and we worked through all of the basic kind of notebooks. We did a whole bunch of background. We got some different feels for things and got some understanding of how to do analysis. We did some basic analysis. We did some more complex stuff. And now we're moving into what I would call the home stretch on trying to understand knowledge reduce and where I'm at right now with the code that has been shared. So we're moving to this knowledge graph number series that goes up to version 12. Um, and today we'll cover that first section of these notebooks and kind of get a sense of what was built out before I got to that version 12 where I stopped doing development. All right. The data, of course, that we're going to use is from the Graduation with Civic Honors website. No ethical concerns here. This is, this is my content. It's about 100 pages. It's a book I wrote. Uh, so we can scrape it. No problem. All right. So we're going to start off here with version three of the Knowledge Graph Set Notebooks for uh, Knowledge Reduce. All right. So from the GitHub here, and I'll link each of these GitHub notebooks, there's four of them. I'll link them in the description so you can get to them if you want to run them yourself. The way you go about doing that, click on Open in Collab. It'll pull you over here. Just connect to the runtime. Then you can go through the code here. One of the fun things is just telling it to run all. <laughs> uh, and it'll step through and run these things. I am using the code overview framework. So before each of these code sets and the steps, I share the overview of what we're trying to accomplish. That's important as we step through these notebooks, you'll see that I'm adding different things as we go through until I get to the final version 12 where I was pretty comfortable with what was happening. So right now we're doing the pip install. We're doing some requests, beautiful soup, Network X, Spacey, and Matplotlib. And then we're grabbing the extra Spacey um, <clears throat> information here. It took about 38 seconds to run that first part. The second part here for import libraries is going through it very quickly. You can see here 12 seconds. And then the define the web scraping function. We're using a little different function here. Um, as you'll see for this HTML parser, this has changed out over the last couple of notebooks. We're using a little bit different code. Now, the enhanced knowledge graph function took zero seconds. The define the graph and save the visualizations function took zero seconds. We're going to execute the entire process here. Um, grab the URL, throw everything together, and then we're going to visualize the knowledge graph. I'm going to warn you now of all the knowledge graph visualizations that I've worked on. This turned out probably to be the best one that I created and it's still not very good. <laughs> um, complex knowledge graphs are difficult to visualize. Um, and you'll see here, this is what I ended up with. 
you can see some of these different times, dates, and you're not reducing down knowledge well enough within that whole book to represent it into a good graph. And so that's one of those things that we'll dig into a little bit more as we chew through these different notebooks and figure out a better way to reduce a knowledge set into a distinct level of understanding. And that is what this code's sort of working through. All right, the next notebook where we were working on something was this version five. We're kind of skipping through these if you can't tell. We'll go ahead and open it up in collab, connecting to the runtime. This one here is a nine step notebook. And you can see here, we're still using the code overview. It'll do some web scraping, some parsing. Uh, you'll get a sense here. I'm making changes to these notebooks as we worked through. Uh, this one here is going to use a little bit different sort of method. You can see we're going for a whole bunch of different sets. For install, we'll let it go here. It should just take a couple seconds. Thirty-one seconds to be total. Importing the libraries here, you can see we added this additional import. We've moved back <clears throat> to more of a similar URL grab and. This notebook, I was messing around with some error handling. <laughs> You'll see that some of that was, was included when I was working to get the notebooks to run without any errors. So here, we're starting to get into some enhanced fact extraction logic. You'll see here that we're trying to figure out how do we get to that set? How do we extract those facts? And as we keep working through these notebooks, you'll see this element here is going to get more and more complex as we want to break stuff down. So we're going to create a directed graph with unique facts, and then we're going to test it. So now we've broken that 100 pages down here to just 73 nodes in the graph. So we're starting to do some of that good work to be able to pull the knowledge graph itself into existence to reduce it to the meaningful elements. And then we have to figure out some way to store and share those component pieces. So you can see here, these visualizations I was messing with um, to just share the number of communities detected. It's interesting, it made a ring of dots. <laughs> um, I was hoping for some kind of more meaningful view or, or look. All right, so now we're advancing along to notebook number six. Again, this is the GitHub. I'll share that in the description. And then we can go back up here and connect. So this one here will run all. You can see this is only five steps. So we reduced steps to kind of get there and we're doing a little bit different thing You'll see here, we're still doing some of those same imports as we try to get stuff to be a little bit more complex. It's taking just a second to import the necessary libraries. 26 seconds. We're gonna import <clears throat> everything. Here you can see we're working more on that define set. How do you extract and target the different facts within a website. And then how do you save it out and visualize it? You can see here, this was a bad visualization. We're still detecting 73 communities, but the visualization is just not good. So I went to try two, it's still bad. <laughs> I made a larger visualization. The text is just walking over each other. So you can see it's kind of an example of what not to do in terms of visualizing. Then it just kept getting worse. I made it worse here. <laughs> um, and this one here is a little better, but still not very good. All right. So the last notebook we're going to take a look at today 
is version 7. This does go out to version 12. I think tomorrow we'll chew through and get to the last one of these notebooks in this series. And then you all be kind of caught up to where I'm working live real time in the Knowledge Reduce set. All right. We'll go back up to the top code summary. We'll terminate these other sessions, reconnect, and we'll run all of these. And we are using some logging. As we started moving from version three to version 12, you'll see that some logging stuff got added. Again, that was part of me working to figure out what to do with some errors that I encountered while building these notebooks. As we're doing this coffee with Nels, you're seeing this code executes and you can go out and execute the same code in Google Collab. That's good, right? Working code is happier code. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand. All right. This is going right here. Still moving along here. Should be done here in just a second. And this is the last notebook we'll go through today. That one took one minute. You can see here, we ran the initialized NLP model, enhanced the mapper function, improved the reducer function here, and then did some post-processing And then we're working on the knowledge reduce function here. And then we're gonna create a graph. And again, this one here, I wasn't super happy with it. It just produced a lot of noise within this visualization. So if we jump back to where we started, and I warned you from the start, this was the best visualization that I made, the one that worked the best to be able to look at it. So I think go forward, I'll probably use this code set and this method of drawing the web page <laughs> um, knowledge that we extracted. So that's where we're at today. Hopefully you enjoyed this look here at these different notebooks. Tomorrow we'll break down that last set of notebook and you'll get a sense for how I ended up finishing this knowledge reduce series of notebooks and you'll kind of be up to speed to dig in even more um, as we move forward. So thank you for being here for Coffee with Nels, episode six. Have a great day.